sushi is minimal ingredients. You have, you know, fish, you have wasabi, you have the rice, and nori. But it all starts with the most basic things. So I guess it would be a little bit more simple or a little bit more traditional in what they are. My father, he's basically the person who's been in charge of everything. His entire adult life, he's basically been working in the sushi or the Japanese restaurants and things of that nature. So in 1998, him and my mom decided to open up their own restaurant. He wanted to do something extremely traditional that wasn't available basically anywhere else in Ohio. There's so many different types of sushi in, that you can find right now in Cincinnati or even you know, the US and the world and things like that. And we do use some non-traditional things, but what my father tries to do and what he's instilled in me is work with the best of ingredients. There's actually a lot of things to do with the rice, but the most basic is the water ratio of the rice. So we have a particular California short grain rice that we use. It all depends on the season of the rice when it was harvested. It goes from washing it multiple times until the water's clear, having it set for a little while to make sure that the rice has absorbed enough water, and then the cooking temperature and time is really important. A lot of the fish that we get in is whole, so we try to utilize every part of it. It shouldn't taste fishy, it shouldn't smell like anything, except for what it is. The best advice that I would give somebody would be to do it often and then also stay very consistent. The Japanese kind of have a saying about you eat with your eyes first. I guess that's a lot of countries as well. When you first get it, how is it presented? There's a lot of garnishes and it's all flowers and things that you don't, you know, it's distractions that we would normally call it. You would tell by the way that it looked in color and how clean the plate is. All those things you have to pay extreme attention to and people that really know their sushi can tell the difference if you have bad rice or old rice or stale nori. Like I said, I, I haven't been here through the whole thing. It's basically my father that started it and the idea that I'm a part of it. You know, I could have been born in any other place in any other restaurant. I feel very fortunate to be a part of something where I can share a tradition that I grew up with and my family grew up with. So I'm very thankful and very happy for it. Thank you.